In this video, I am going to introduce you to multi-hop RAG. RAG stands for Retrieval Augmented Generation. This new research is quite interesting. Retrieval Augmented Generation augments LLMs by retrieving relevant knowledge, showing promising potential in mitigating LLM hallucinations and enhancing response quality thereby facilitating the great adoption of LLMs in practice. But there is a problem. The researchers who have done this multi-hop RAG found out that existing RAG systems are inadequate in answering multi-hop queries, which require retrieving and reasoning over multiple pieces of supporting evidence. Moreover, to their knowledge, no existing RAG benchmarking dataset focuses on multi-hop queries. In this research, they have developed a novel dataset which is called as multi-hop RAG, which consists of a knowledge base, a large collection of multi-hop queries, their ground truth answers, and the associated supporting evidence. They have also detailed the procedure of building the dataset utilizing an English news article dataset as the underlying RAG knowledge base. They have demonstrated the benchmarking utility of multi-hop RAG in two experiments. The first experiment compares different embedding models for retrieving evidence for multi-hop queries. In the second experiment, they have examined the capabilities of various state-of-the-art LLMs including GPT-4, Palm and Llama 2 70 billion in reasoning and answering multi-hop queries given the evidence. Both experiments reveal that existing RAG methods perform unsatisfactorily in retrieving and answering multi-hop queries. Multi-hop RAG seems to be a promising prospect will and a valuable resource for the community in developing effective RAG systems. This is still an evolving project. Look at this example from their GitHub repo and I'll also drop the link in the video's description. If you look at this diagram, now in real world RAG applications, a user's query often necessitates retrieving and reasoning over evidence from multiple documents, a process known as multi-hop query. For example, consider financial analysis using a data set, database of financial reports. A financial analyst might query which company among Google, Apple and Nvidia reported the largest profit margins in their third quarter reports of 2023 or any performance query about company over time. These queries require evidence from multiple documents to formulate an answer. Due to the multifaceted nature of these queries involving information from various sources, traditional similarity matching methods like cosine similarity between query and financial report chunk embeddings might not yield optimal. So that is where the multi-hop process really shines. Now, there are various other steps in this. And if you look at this picture, the researchers have provided detailed information on the construction of multi-hop RAG dataset. This is the process of creating a set of multi-hop queries along with corresponding ground truth evidences sets and answer derived from a collection of news articles. There are few steps here, as you can see. The first step is a data collection. Researchers have downloaded a news dataset using the media stack API, which is a REST API interface delivering worldwide news data. And then once that step one was done, then they moved on to the second step, which is the evidence instruction for each article they extracted factual or opinion sentences using a trained language model. These factual sentences are later used as evidence for answering multi-hop queries. And they have retained only those news articles containing evidence that may have overlapping keywords with other news articles. And this has allows them to later create multi-hop queries where the answers evidences are drawn from multiple sources. In the third step, they have gone for claim bridge entity bridge topic generation and in this step their goal is to use gpt4 to automatically generate high quality multi-hop queries using the evidence set 
However, the raw evidence obtained from the previous step is not ideal for query generation due to inconsistency in linguistic structure. For example, some pieces of evidence use pronoun to refer to subject and lack the actual entity in the text. That is where they have employed GPT-4 to paraphrase the evidence and they call it claims given the original evidence and its context. And in order to ensure consistency between the generated claim and the evidence, they have performed fact checking using UniAVAL framework to verify the alignment between the evidence and claim. So I believe that this step, the claim generation is one of the most important step in all this because it is knitting together and paraphrasing it. Then in the next step comes the bridge entity and bridge topic or you can also say that this could be the part of previous one and then we have query and answer generation. In this step they have leveraged the bridge entity or bridge topic to generate multi hop queries. When we say bridge entity and bridge topic, the shared entity or topic across pieces of evidence is referred to as the bridge entity or bridge topic. These bridge entities or bridge topics can be used to link different pieces of evidence. For example, in a claim such as Google reports its third quarter result for 2023, the term profit margin can be viewed as bridge topic and term Google can be viewed as bridge entity. Okay. now. Coming back to the query and answer generation, they are leveraging bridge entity or bridge topic here to generate multi-hop queries. They first group the claims having the same bridge entity or bridge topic into claim set and then they restrict the claim set to have at least two claims but no more than four claims. For each type of query, they have fed the claim set to GPT-4 and prompt it with an instruction to generate a query with information from each claim. Now. Towards the end, the last step uh, we should say is simply around the quality assurance. They use two approaches to reassure the dataset quality. First, they manually review a subset of sample of generated multi-hop queries, their corresponding evidence sets and final answer. The results of the manual examination indicate a high degree of accuracy and data quality. Then they utilize GPT-4 to assess each example in the data set and the criteria is quite comprehensive and profound that includes generated query must utilize all provided evidence in formulating the response and also the query must confirm to its designated query type. So you can see that they have really gone into it and provided a novel and unique data set design for queries that retrieve that require retrieval and reasoning from multiple pieces of supporting evidence and this is very very close to the real world requirement because these types of multi hop queries represent user queries commonly encountered in all the uh, vertical domains multi hop rag consists of knowledge base a large collection of multi hop queries their ground truth answer and the associated supporting evidence and this whole creation process which i just narr narrated of multi hop rag which em implies a hybrid approach i think this is going to go a long way so that's it guys i hope that this is uh, you like they also have released the github repo of it and this is a github repo on your screen i will also drop the link to it in video's description so that you can read further or maybe you can use it in your own project let me know what you think in the comment and if you like the content then please consider subscribing to the channel if you are already subscribed please share it among your network as it helps a lot thanks for watching